podcast. Welcome to the second installment of How to Ship Like a Pirate. I'm Josiah, your host with Entrepreneurial. Today we're talking about bulk shipments and uploading shipping spreadsheets into Pirate Ship. How can that be done? If you don't know what Pirate Ship is or how to use it, don't start with this video. Start with this other one right here, the basic intro and how to. When you log into your Pirate Ship account and click on the Ship tab, you will see several options. Create a single label, upload a spreadsheet, import from integrations. Today we're talking about how to upload a spreadsheet. In order to do that, you first need to create a spreadsheet. I've done that for you. You can download the template below. Let's go through what it needs. In this case, we're shipping six boxes to the same Amazon FBA warehouse. So all the information is largely the same except for the weight, length, width, and height. You'll need the name of the addressee. You'll need the actual address, city, state, zip code, country. In this format, and then the pounds, length, weight, and height. Length, width, and height are all in inches. Once you have this information all recorded and all in the spreadsheet, you can export it as an Excel, Microsoft Excel. You can download this. Once you have it downloaded, hop on over to Pirate Ship and click on Upload a Spreadsheet. You'll get a little pop-up so you can navigate through your files and select the spreadsheet that you just created and saved. I just selected it. Now you want your options to mirror the options I have here on the screen. You'll see each dropdown has different settings. So the name, you want to be the full name. Address 1. City equals city, state equals state, zip code equals zip code, country, country. And then this part is especially important. You're going to override the length, the width, and the inches. What we're doing here is we're mapping the information from the Excel spreadsheet to the information that Pirate Ship is looking for. Once your settings match, the settings I have here on my screen, you can click Confirm Mapping. This will take you to the next page. This looks very much like the normal shipment options when shipping one package. Ship from, make sure your address is correctly selected. Choose the type of packaging. In this case, we're using a box or rigid packaging. Now, this part's a little funny. You need to override the system so it looks at the information in your spreadsheet. In order to do that, these boxes here for dimensions and weight can't be empty. So put something random in there, and trust me, it won't affect the actual outcome. Putting all sixes in mind. In this case, I'm going to look under Extra Services and click Qualifies for Media Mail because everything I'm shipping is books or educational material. Once everything there is correct, click get rates. It's going to do a little math, do some numbers and take you to the next page. So as you'll see, this looks pretty similar to other single package shipping options. There's a few differences and you can check to make sure the spreadsheet properly went into your information into your pirate ship account. Right here under package details, this is the part you wanna look at. So we have a box of rigid packaging and we have uh, six boxes listed here. Two boxes that are of the dimensions 16, 12, and 10. One box that is 18, 17, and 11. And three boxes that are 16, 12, and 12. If we look back at our spreadsheet, that matches exactly the dimensions we submitted through the spreadsheet, so that's good. Next, we have override length, width, and height. Let's take a look at what they pulled in from that. And it says all the boxes are between the weights of 26 and 48. That sounds right, let's double check. Our lowest box is 26, our highest box is, in fact, 
48. It pulled that information incorrect. Now we can choose a service. In my case, Media Mail is always going to be the cheapest when you're shipping books. But you can scroll through, look at the estimated delivery time as well as the cost, compare and decide what best meets your situation. We're selecting Media Mail. And what this says here is it's $26.23 on average. So we have six boxes. They all weigh slightly different. They all have slightly different dimensions, but the average cost to ship those six boxes is that $26.26 for a total of $157.38. Ship date, select when you plan on shipping it. Select your payment options, whatever card you're going to use for this, and then just like in a single shipping option, click Buy Labels. It'll take a few seconds to buy the labels. And once it is finished, you'll be brought to this page. A little bit different than when you ship a single package. And there's some key information here and ways to print the labels. So one... This heading is all the same as the previous page. Now we have here what we just purchased. Media mail, six labels, average cost, total cost. And then we have each of those six labels. We have the tracking information here. We have the recipient here. And then when we're ready to print them, you can click view. It'll open it up and you can print it. Or if you want to print them all together, you can simply click print labels. It will pop up all the bulk labels. And just like that, in nearly the same amount of time, it would take you to purchase and print one shipping label through Pirate Ship. We've just done that for six. So the key is this spreadsheet and how you upload it. Follow the format of this spreadsheet. There's a Google Sheets link in the description here. Feel free to use that, modify it, and make it work for your unique situation. Thank you for watching. Check out our other videos and our podcasts that we post every Wednesday.